Hello friends, welcome to HTML tutorial series. Let me right click on the first page, open with the Firefox. Let me right click on the first page once again, open with the note tab to see the source code. In the previous tutorial, we have understood how do we nest tags, how do we subscript something, how do we superscript some text in web pages. I am going to delete this and file, save, go to browser, refresh. Nothing is there. In this tutorial, we are going to understand another tag which is used to quote some text. Take an example, do or die. This is a quote. Usually, we should we will write quote in between double quotations. If I save this, I can say file, save and refresh. You will find here double quotation marks. You can display the same text or double quotations in different way by using the tag also. Let me explain. Here I am going to write the break tag so that I can display the content in the next line. Then I say here do or die. I save this file, save and refresh. You can see that I have here do or die code written. Both the sides of this do or die. I want to see double quotations. How do we perform that? I am going to use a tab called as queue. So there is a queue tag which is a pair tag. I am going to write just before the do. Queue tag is opening queue tag. Then after the done work, I am going to close the queue tag. File, save and refresh. You can see that here I have double quotations. Now do or die is sandwiched in between the double quotation mark, and these double quotations are more fancy, right? So Q stands for quoted text. So you can use Q tag also to display the double quotations around some text. Let's understand another tag. Before I explain about another tag, I just go to start all programs, accessories. Open the WordPad because we are taking the help of WordPad to understand some formatting things. Now here I say do or die double quotation. We have understood how do we display double quotation around some text. Next, here I am going to write something. Computer is an electronic electronic device. Full stop. Now what I want is I want this part, electronic device, I want to mark it. So usually we use um, in PDF files or while reading we use uh, the yellow colored marker pen to mark the important things while reading. So what, how, how actually it looks, if I select this, here we have the background color, I can go to this place and select the yellow color. Now you can see that this electronic device is marked with the yellow color. The same thing if I want to display in the web page. How do we perform that? Let me copy this content from here. So control C, copy that and I use the break tag and then I paste it. File, save, refresh. You can see that computer is an electronic device. Full stop. I want to mark this content with a background color of yellow. There is a tag called as mark. In HTML we have a tag called as a mark which is a pale tag. We should tell the beginning and ending of mark text. So just before E, I am going to open the mark tag or I am going to type the opening mark tag. Then after this E, I am going to close the mark tag. Then I say file, save, go to browser, refresh. You can see that electronic device got marked with a yellow color. The background color is filled with yellow color. So this is how you can display a content which is little bit important. Maybe uh, you can make highlight something so that user can read that content and understand this content is an important content. So in this tutorial, we understood how do we display 
double quotations around some content we use the q tag and how do we display some content highlighted or how do we highlight some content by using the mark tag so for this tutorial i think this much is enough friends in the next tutorial we understand some other tags thank you guys thank you very much see you in the next tutorial keep learning keep coding keep sharing